Hello and welcome to this episode of Ask Raghav. A lot of times I get several comments on how to start career in performance testing. Now there are a lot of freshers who have just graduated and they want to start a career in performance testing. There are also people who are already working in the testing industry, in the testing jobs and they want to switch to performance testing. So I get several comments uh, like this. So here also there is a comment where uh, the person is looking for a freshers job in performance testing. So here today I will discuss on the basic six steps that you can take to start your career in performance testing and this will be very easy if you follow step by step you can become a very good performance test engineer so you always start with learning the basics of software testing now we know that we want to go to performance testing but without knowing the basics of software testing you may find it difficult when some concepts will be used so if you are a complete fresher for testing uh, you know take some online offline course uh, search for basics of software testing online and learn the concepts that will be the very very important first step then next step will be you can uh, select one of the common performance testing tools and start learning it so you can select based on your interest or whatever you want to uh, a very natural choice will be jmeter jmeter is a very popular widely used free and open source performance testing tool so you can select jmeter gatling loader etc and you will find a lot of tutorials and online courses so start learning the tool and it is very very important that you learn along with hands-on just don't go through the tutorial or course like a theoretical concept always do hands-on and that is how you will learn you will face issues you will face problems you will troubleshoot ask others and then fix the issues and this is how you will learn the tool then concepts so as you will start learning the tool in the earlier step you will come through come across various concepts like throughput response time latency concurrency etc so uh, learn these concepts make notes understand what these are these actually are and then you will also be learning some key performance indicators how to analyze the reports and this is very very important in performance testing so uh, how to create a performance testing result and report so that it is very meaningful and if anyone looks at this report, he or she should be able to understand uh, what this report means, what are the different uh, KPIs and how is the performance of the application or, or the system. And to, so the, to create the report is also a very important thing and it is an art and then to analyze the report. So you have to learn these things, creating reports, analyzing reports, learning the, the basic you know terms, concepts and terminologies. Then after this, you have to uh, gain real world experience so here after you have learned a performance testing tool you understand the concept it is now time to you know do some real work so here you can look for opportunities around you if you can get some hands-on experience on some real projects you can do internships freelancing or you can volunteer on some open source projects if you can work with any experienced professional who is working on any performance testing project you can offer your help and you can learn with them so this will be a very good starting point after this comes certification and training now i always generally focus on your uh, you know personal knowledge experience hands-on experience and your uh, you know uh, knowledge that how good you are on a tool or technology or a platform but then certifications are also important if you want to start a career if you want to you know get a job then certifications will help you you can check for the certification on the particular tool you are using you can get some general performance testing certifications from ISTQB or some other authorized body or if you are you know learning a tool you may find some certification from the owners or the organization of that tool now here make sure that you go with you know authentic authorized certifications there are so many other unauthorized certifications uh, so don't go for that you can search online you will come to know what are the authorized and authorized bodies to give the give these certifications and you can accordingly get yourself certified after this the last step will be networking and job search once you have 
gain the experience you have done hands-on you know the tool you know the concepts you also have certifications with you then you can start looking for jobs here you can build your professional network you can update your skills on your professional network or uh, you can create and update your resume in your resume you can also add links to your project if you create any personal projects you can upload them on github and then add the links of the github project or any online project you have uh, if you have authorization you can add the link on your resume that will give you a good weightage and you can uh, here you can uh, highlight your performance testing skills and experience and then you can apply for entry level positions so this is how you can start your career in performance testing so i hope this was very useful if you have any questions for me for the next episode of ask rakab you can let me know in the comment section below for this episode if you have any thoughts you can put your comments in the uh, comments below this video i will read your comment and reply to you and i will see you soon thank you for watching and never stop learning